Okay, yay, it's our last test ever. Well, new test. Okay, so we first start off by graphing the regions x squared and negative x plus 6. So we look at our graph, and we're supposed to find the area. So it's good to be able to find the intersection points, which you can do by hand, or you can do with a calculator. Okay, by hand, you would set these equal to each other and factor. By the calculator, we can use the trace command. So second, trace, number five, enter, 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 because it's this point right here is negative three. The y value is, is nine, if we ever need to use that. Second, trace, number five, now arrow over, closer to the other intersection point. Hit enter three times, and so we get two, four, all right? Now, when we find area, in this case, we're going to draw a vertical rectangle, and that one rectangle has a thickness of dx, and so we're going to integrate with respect to x, so negative 3 to 2 are our x limits, and we do top minus bottom. So the top curve is the line, which is negative x plus 6 minus the bottom. And when we do that, we get our answer of, where is it? I'll show you in the calculator a couple times, but I'm not going to always enter things into the calculator. If we do math 9, and then I can do negative x plus 6, or I can call it my, where I have it started, stored in y, x squared, comma, x, comma, negative 3, comma, 2. And so we get 20.833, three decimal places. Find the volume rotate about the x-axis. All right, so if we're going to go around the x-axis, automatically get your points by doing x. Axis is dx and the x values. Now, there is a space between the region and the line. It is not flat up against this horizontal line here because it's curved. There's no way it can be flat. So you start on the axis, draw through the region to the furthest point. On the axis, through the region to the furthest point. So the way you get the measurement of big R is top minus bottom, top minus bottom. So it's the line minus the bottom, which is zero. So in this case, big R is just negative x plus six. We square it, and then you subtract little r, which from the axis, stop when you get to the closest point. So top minus bottom, x squared minus zero, so x squared. You square both of those. If you prefer in the calculator, you can type in I have this guy as y2 and this guy as y1. So in your calculator, you could use those values instead. When you do that, you should get 523.599. Okay, same region. Now rotate around the line y equals 12. What's important to know, this is 9, so 12 is going to be up here above the intersection point. Since we have a horizontal line, anytime it's horizontal, it's dx. So again, same limits, negative 3 to 2, dx. Now, when I do this, I start on the axis, draw through the region to the furthest point. On the axis, through the region to the furthest point. So big R is top minus bottom, so 12 minus x squared. And little r is from the axis, hit when you hit the closest point, so it's 12 minus the line, which is negative x plus 6. You can simplify this if you please, 12 plus x minus 6, so that would be x plus 6. You do not have to simplify, okay? If you want to, oh, I forgot my pi. If you want to, you can write 12 minus y1 in parentheses squared, 12 minus y2 in parentheses squared. All right, find the volume of the solid with the base defined by region A, so it has the same base cross-sections perpendicular to the x-axis, so dx. The cross-sections are semicircles. So in this case, we're going to integrate the area with respect to x, because any times it says perpendicular to the x, we know it's the same limits, negative 3 to t. Now, we're taking this one cross-section. It's built up from here. It's a shape of a semicircle. And this base length fits along this rectangle. And you get the base length by doing top minus bottom. So negative x plus 6 minus x squared. That's the diameter, okay? So area of a semicircle is pi r squared over 2 or pi times the diameter squared over 8. So I'm going to say pi over 8 out in front, negative 3 to 2. And then the diameter, which is the length of this rectangle, 
squared. And that should give you 40.906. And this answer is 1047.198. Okay, number two. Let, let W be the regions enclosed by X cubed. So we have X cubed and 2X plus 4 and x equals 0. Okay, whenever I graph this, um, since you can't graph a line x equals 0, if you want to, you can change your window to start at 0. So you can kind of see this is a boundary. Okay, so we have this thing going on. I want to find these intersection points. Second, trace number 5, enter, enter, enter. I get that point as 2, 8. This value is 8, and this value is 2. And I know that the y-intercept is 4. Okay, we're rotating around the line x equals 3, which is a vertical line. We're rotating around a vertical line. Already you know that that's dy. Now here's the thing. If I draw my big R from the axis to the furthest point on the region, from the axis to the furthest point on the region, you notice that the big R changes, okay? So from 0 to 4, your big R is right minus left, which is 3 minus 0, so 3. But from, from 4 to 8, from 4 to 8, if you think about dividing this in half, from 4 to 8, your big R is this guy right here, right minus left, so 3 minus this line, which you need to get this in terms of y. So if I rearrange, rearrange the line, y equals 2x plus 4, we have y minus 4 equals 2x, and divide by 2, so you have 1 half y minus 2, or you can use this. So minus 1 half y minus 2. So minus 3 minus 1 half y, if I distribute the negative, it would be plus 2. Okay, and then big R here is, oh, whoops. I didn't need to write that there. I'm sorry. And that's this big R right here. 3 minus 1 half y plus 2 in parentheses squared. Little r does not change. Little r is always from the axis to the closest point. Little r is the same. So little r is right minus left. So 3 minus, if I solve this, I have y equals x cubed. So that means the cube root of y equals x or y to the 1 third, whichever one you prefer. So this is minus 3 minus y to the 1 third squared. Okay, so this is a lot to type in your calculator. Let's see, if I go to my home screen and I type in math 9, and then 3 squared minus parentheses 3 minus x, because you can use x raised. Now if I'm going to raise it to the 1 third, you need to put 1 third in parentheses then close the, this other set of parentheses, square, and then comma x, comma 0, comma 4, and then plus, you can do it separately if you want, math 9, okay, parentheses 3 minus 1 half x instead of y, and then that is a plus 2, I believe, and then close the parentheses, squared, and then minus parentheses 3 minus x raised to the parentheses 1 third, and then close those parentheses, squared, and then comma x, comma 4, comma 8. Wait for a while. Okay. We're going to multiply this answer times pi. And so we get 107.233.